Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Bean Turtle, and once again, by popular request, the Titan won the poll, like, by a landslide. I, I, I don't know why, man. Warlock is cooler. I'm just kidding. Titan's cool. Today we are doing the Quarry Lost Sector uh, on Legend Difficulty. The uh, champions are Barrier and Unstoppable. It is 50% void damage taken and received, and there are solar, there's one solar and several void shields, but none of that really matters. Today I'm actually going to do the run first because it's so unbelievably short. I'm certain there are people that are better than me in, in Jittle that might even see this that are going to clean my run up and such. But it's a really simple setup, so let's get right into it. So uh, when I was running this, it went by really quick. I start by eager edging towards the unstoppable champion, and uh, your job is to kill him as quickly as possible with bonk hammer. I had some issues switching for some reason, but uh, it's still it's a really quick run. So try not to die, and then eager edge towards the next one. There's a champion up to your top right that's also going to be annoying. You probably have lost your buff by now, so you can go find some enemies and hopefully not miss your hammers like I did. But there you go, and if you're lucky, he won't even barrier, he won't even get to. So, now, move on to the boss room, and so, it's already only been 30 seconds. Bonk 1, 2, get Roaring Th Flames 3, there's the boss. Here. Even though you're blind, go find one of those guys, they drop you in a buff called Unstable Essence, that gives you a 50% damage bonus to the, bo to the final boss. And then at that point you're doing so much damage that you should just be able to insta-kill the unstoppable, hopefully. I lost my bonk hammer and it kind of surprised me. I didn't notice. So I killed him the old-fashioned way. And there you go, a minute, seven seconds. Pretty easy. Alright, so the way to get that really quick uh, one minute and whatever second setup, or I'm certain that if some of you are uh, really good at the game, you can get it way under one minute, maybe even in the 30 or 40 second re area. Um, the Lost Sector is kind of uh, set up to be annoying, so it's hard to do that, but I'm certain that sub sub minutes are more than possible. Today we are running Sunbreaker with Bonk Hammer. Bonk Hammer is the center of this. Thermite Grenades uh, allow you to uh, proc Roaring Flames pretty easily, but I only threw like one, I think. Roaring Flames, final blows with solar abilities, increase solar damage, and that stacks up to three times, which means that your melee attack does more damage. And also your uncharged unchar melee attack deals Scorch damage, which is kind of... And then Sol Invictus, your solar ability kills uh, create sunspots, which heal you and, and burn targets. I'm also running Ember of Torches, which makes me radiant when I get a melee hit. Ember of Ashes, apply more Scorch stacks, so um, I cause more ignitions. Ember of Empyrean, solar weapon or ability kills ex extend the duration of restoration. And Ember of Solace, re radiant and restoration effects have increased duration up to 12 seconds. I'm also running Arbalist to one-tap the barrier shield that spawns. I'm using Lubre's Ruin since I don't have to actually wait for Unstoppable to proc on it. I can just uh, switch to it, stun the Unstoppables, and leave. And I'm using Half-Truths just to speed through it a little bit since you only need to kill the champions and the boss to get credit for the lost sector. On my helmet, though it doesn't happen very often, I have ashes to assets to gain bonus ability energy, uh, super energy on kills, grenade kills. I have bountiful wells that whenever I do get a grenade kill, they spawn out like three, uh, three or four elemental wells, um, and I am running a few elemental ordinances to do that, uh, three of them. And uh, Worm God Caress, uh, this is what makes me do um, a lot of damage. Uh, melee kills increase melee damage, so if you get, as I run around getting Bonk Hammer kills, I'm proccing Roaring Flames, Soul Invictus, and Burning Fists, gaining a huge, ridiculous damage modifier, allowing me to two-tap, uh, ideally two-tap the barrier champions, and... Um, murder the boss and all sorts of crazy stuff. So that's what makes this so easy. On my chest piece, uh, I'm using a con concussive dampener and uh, armor of the dying star to decrease damage from solar and void attacks. As you see, you saw, I was pretty much immortal the entire time. And then on my mark, I am running classy restoration, which whenever I put up my barricade, I get barricade, I gain restoration times two, and revitalize and blast. Whenever I stun a champion, they have in ignition, they explode, and then I gain a little bit of health from that. Also, uh, tips for doing this effectively, while you're getting used to W keying things and like smacking it with hammers, feel, like I would just say run around the entire area, uh, killing every enemy you can, just getting used to throwing the throwing hammer. There's a total, there's a difference between um, how you have to use throwing hammer and just normal melees. Uh, especially since it's considered a charged melee ability. I had to actually rebind on... Uh, I, I was playing on my controller too, just to play around with it, but I, I did my best run on my mouse. I actually ended up rebinding my charged melee ability to uh, V, 
so that it was out of my way and I had to intentionally tap it. But that's because I'm so used to using uh, my, uh, my mouse button as an auto melee. So like when you're next to a boss and you want to bonk something, you're going to just do this if you have auto melee on. But if you're right next to someone and you press your charge melee button, you'll throw your hammer. And that's what you want to do when you're up next to champions. You want to run around smacking stuff at point blank range with your hammer because that's what does damage, not not the charge, not the uncharged melee. Because even if you're up close and you have burning fists times three and the whole wombo combo set up, you could still end up not. I wouldn't say wasting it, but you could still end up just sitting there smacking him with your with your you know fist instead of actually throwing your your hammer. And that would be, see, like that that doesn't do nearly as much damage even by default as the bonk hammer does. So um, it is uh, good to rebind that, I'd say. But uh, don't forget that you did that, because on controller I rebound uh, finisher to hold press, and then I think that could cause some issues later, but don't worry about that. Also, if you end up doing this today this video comes out, it is Helmet's Day. Go get your Laurelly Splendor. This is so, so far the best Laurelly I've gotten, but it was better than the one I had. Uh, also, stuff like One-Eyed Mask exists and uh, Helm of Saint-14, um, and you can uh, focus those for higher stats if you put on an Armor or Ghost Shell mod. Uh, but with that, that is the video, and uh, I would like to do not Titan next time, but, you know, I'll leave it up to, the, to democracy because I do, in fact, love democracy, as good old Palpatine said once, once upon a time. So I hope this is helpful, good luck farming, and have a nice day.